Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching once again. I'm um, coming to you from a very cold and windy garage today, so apologies if you can hear the, the door and the wind in the background, but I can't help it. Um, I've been wanting to do this video for quite a while now and I've been kind of holding off until I accumulated all the, the parts to do it, but um, it's fitting some real blazer accessories to the boat. When I first bought the boat, I knew that I wanted to you know, put the best on it that I could afford and what suited me. I know it won't suit everyone, but can you, what I wanted for this video is I was putting it up so that hopefully it'll give some other people some ideas, um, show you how easy it is to fit the stuff, and uh, yeah, have a better, a better boat layout and something that works for you. Obviously everybody's different, like I said, and it might work for you, it might not, but the video's going up anyway. So yeah, I've got a few Railblazer products to fit to the boat today. Um, I don't really know where to start. So I'll, I'll quick talk through them first. This being the biggest one, probably. This is a Railblazer track mount system, and I'll get into it in a minute, but it's got the Railblazer porch on it. It's not fixed in, but it is going there. I have replaced what you can see on the right hand side is a kind of cheap Chinese manufactured, you know, does the job. Mount on the right hand side requires four nuts and bolts. Pretty, pretty tight, but and it only takes the one specific rod holder. This is the real blazer mount, the starport, and as you can see, I think personally, it looks a lot tidier, it's absolutely solid, I'll show you how to fit them in a wee while, and this is basically what the real blazer starports are, all the real blazer products fit them, it's a quick unlock and lock scenario, just like this, and it's absolutely solid, nice waterproof seal in there, and for the top for when you're fitting them to compartments and stuff like that, which I'll show you in a minute. So a quick overview then, I know I can last you through that, is I'm going to run the track port system on the rear of the boat, which will give me four of the star ports to take anything that I so desire. Um, I'm thinking from a kind of design that I'm going to be using it for two rod holders, if you're running kind of poker rods or long lines straight at the back. Um, it can also take the bracket for my iPad, which then Bluetooths to the Larange unit and can give you basically a mirrored screen at the rear of the boat if you're throwing lures or whatnot. You can also take cup holders, like I said, iPad screen, fish finder screen, a GoPro, it's on a pole, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, it can also take a mooring light attachment, um, if you've not got, if you're not running an anchor light at the front, which you should be, but it's also an additional safety light. You can take anything that the uh, Railblazer range fits in these star ports. So I'm going to fit that track port to the rear. Um, I feel that'll give me the best setup for my boat. And then I'll show you again, right at the side, I have this real blazer star port rail mount. I'm going to have one of them on each side. This is going. And basically this space in here, now I haven't measured this properly yet. This space in here will be getting bracketed out in either alloy or stainless. I'm still waiting on the bases to come. And this is the most secure point for the braces where I'll be running my downriggers. So one there and one there. So basically you have a rod holder, downrigger to allow you to double stack if you so wish, four star ports on the back, downrigger, and then I'm going to be fitting another star port here on the rail. So that is basically my plan. Um, other than that, I'm going to install a starport on the helm position. At the moment it's going to be used for a phone holder and a cup holder. Um, and that is purely, I'm fitting it purely because I, I need something up there to set my phone in. Um, and a you know, cup of tea, cup of coffee when you're out there doesn't harm anybody. But I'm also kind of strategically placing it because I, in the future I would like to upgrade my screens or screen, two screens, um, and run two. And like I say, the, the star ports are, you know, future-proofing your setup because everything that you can buy fits in them. So if I want to upgrade to a bracket that can hold two Loran screens, then they'll just go right into the star ports that are already drilled. So I'm putting another one there, and I'm actually putting one up on the bridge. And I will show you why shortly, because when you put a GoPro in there, um, as much as I'm in my garage and not out in the water, you get some very good views of the deck and the bow when you're fishing. So 
hopefully it'll bring some good footage in the future. So probably like my last video, I will talk you through it as much as I can and I will use time lapse in between so you're not sitting bored. Um, and like I say, thanks for all the support on the previous videos. Um, if you'd like to ask any more questions or share anything that you think you could have done better or you've done better yourself, I'm always keen to see people's ideas and I spend a lot of time looking on Facebook and that to see the best setups that I can find. So yeah, let me know. But let's get into it. So guys, this is what I'll be using to replace this old rod holder here. It's actually the Railblazer Starport with the rail mount. It's very easy to work with and fit. And I'll show you it right now. So basically, it's a standard Starport. You buy them individually on the top. And then the additional part here is the rail mounting kit. So it comes with two extended bolts with self-contained nuts. So all you do is loosen them off. comes apart like this. So you have your two extra long bolts pass through the star mount. So this is the standard Railblazer star mount with the bottom base missing. So you have the star mount with the lock itself and the rubber seal. This part here, if you want to have them flush fitting and a bit of fiberglass or whatnot, I'll try and show you here. You would have to you know, use a hole saw. They are strong without it. I just put my own brace on the bottom of a couple of big penny washers if I'm going to be fitting them. And I'll show you how I do that a little later. But for now, all we're doing is a starport goes back on to the rail, like that. The rail kit, sorry. It has an insert, rubber insert, fits in there. And then the bottom with the two nuts already in there clamps on as such and that's how it goes the only additional thing to this is right here where I'm going to put it I've already measured it back it comes with two bits of grip tape um, that need trimmed back I'm going to use my own but you always put them down first just to give you that extra security so yeah we'll get into fitting this one right now so guys I've got the grip tape fitted here measured out where I want it compared to the other side this is the bottom piece with the two nuts in the bottom just going to make sure they don't fall out when I fit this. So I've already got the rubber insert in there. I'm not going to take it back out because I've already fitted it. So it goes in there like that. And then we take the rest of the unit, top and the bottom that was already built up. Line it up. And then just straight through like that. Tight this down. You feel it gripping on the chassis nut at the bottom. Make sure she's straight. Level, sorry. And tighten down evenly. Like in like that absolutely that is me yanking on that bar absolutely solid back to unlock the chin and there you have it that is how you fit a side rail like I said before I think it looks a lot neater than the one before and I'll try and put the camera up for you here you know a little bit of fitting no bolts sticking out to catch anything on all fits in flush, nice waterproof cover, no it really matters but yeah number one done so guys I'm going to be moving on to the the biggest probably job I'm going to do today with the Railblazer stuff and that is the Railblazer track port mount I'm just going to give you a quick run through what I'm going to do and then I'm going to set it on the time lapse just because well I got a bit distracted filming and I want to make sure this is perfect so this is it here it's a one metre, thousand millimetre, obviously, uh, Railblazer track port mount. And as you can see, it's the same as all the other star mounts, obviously, but they're on a, a tracked system in there, which is just a, a 90 degree bar that turns the clamp down. You could have one in here, you could have, you could technically, I think you could double that up if you really wanted to, it depends how much stress you want to put on it. 
Now, it is designed to be removable, so what should happen is you should put two male um, starport bases on it and then put two starports in the boat so it can be taken on and off. Now, I'm not going with that design because I'm building this boat for a specific reason and that's to fish. And, you know, it, 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 this isn't really a, a pleasure craft as such. I'm not going to be, you know, putting the back seats and stuff back in. So I'm just going to, for one, for security and two, for my design, I'm going to drill right through the track port mount as it should be. And then I'm going to go right through, you know, the back bulkhead of the, the boat. And I've got some brackets to strengthen that up. So I'm just going to run that flush, gives me more strength, suits my design better. Like I say, time the downriggers and that are there, I don't want that sitting proud. And it also gives me a better height for where I'm going to use the bait table. So yeah, really this is just a measure three times, drill once, nut and bolt job. Jobs are good on. So I'm going to stick you on the time lapse and get cracking on it. Alright, so that's the track port fitted now, as you can see here. All in. Got the nice trim in the middle now. Absolutely solid. Same again. Lock, unlock. You have four in there, three in there, two in there, one in there. You can put more in if you want, but absolutely solid. Can't complain one bit. Really happy with it. I think it looks nice on the boat. So yeah, well chuffed. So as you can see here, uh, put the GoPro stand in the side mount. Side mount over here, like I said, the other one's going to disappear. Track mounts back to there. So yeah, really happy with how that's turned out. Um, I've got two more of the track ports to put on. Um, I'm not going to bother filming them because they're much or much less the same um, and I'll show you everything when the boat's tidy and finished so thank you Hi guys that's me finished everything that I set out to do today so I'll give you a quick rundown of what we covered and what was fitted so first of all was the rail mounts like I said full rail blazer star ports nice and smooth absolutely solid the will be bracket the back end of the boat will be bracketed for the two downriggers but that's the track mount there. As you can see, you've got two of the rod holders in there, and we can go a bit more in depth to them in another video. But the track mount itself, got a nice finishing rubber on top of it. Absolutely solid. So I think that'll give me a good setup for the back end of the boat. And obviously, like I said, anything that's real blues, I can go in any of these star ports. As seen over here, back in with the rail mount again. This time, I've got a GoPro pole running on it, so that pole can go anywhere on this boat. So, really good. Obviously, the boat needs a wash and a polish before we get back out. Over here, find an R star port. It's a cup holder, but if you've got a Galaxy S20, it'll fit in there. Again, just an R star port. You can put anything you want in here. It's locked in. Cup holder, in out. Again solid 
and like I say my plans for the future is to tie in another couple of these for maybe HDS 12s so yeah that's in there the only one thing I want to say about this is I mentioned it previously in the video if you can see it there the star port is obviously sunk in to that so unless you want to drill a actual hole for it to be counter sunk um, it actually comes with a set of screws and bolts so it's for people with kayaks if you want to drill through the plastic and counter sink it you can counter sink it into fiberglass as well no problem but i've been using these it's the spacer plate that comes with it still really strong i've just put a couple of penny washers or uh, on the on the track mount i cut a big couple of big bits of bar just to spread that load out but uh, it is designed for that you can do it so it's perfect and then the last thing is just up here i've got one more on the bridge now i actually have that wired up for um, an anchor light but this pole over here the gopro pole Railblaze are actually doing attachment for that for an LED anchor light so all I'll do is swap it between that and run it off of that, I wanted to do that it also gives me an excellent camera view um, which I will insert a couple of the stills from just now And obviously that's just a couple of seconds of video of me trying it out but that's a gopro 9 on super view mode so gives you a really good view of the bow obviously you've got to use your imagination a bit because we're in the garage 10 feet from the door but uh, it gives you a really good forward and rear facing view so yeah really happy with how everything's turned out hopefully the next video will be putting the downriggers on and then shortly after that hopefully we'll be back out in the water but um yeah thanks again for watching Please like and subscribe to the channel, uh, it makes a big difference, it's good to hear from all the people that we've heard from. Uh, one other thing I was wanting to throw out there is, I know the boating videos, you know, they, they reach out to more people than just, you know, I'm predominantly a fisherman, but, you know, all this real blazer stuff and some of the jobs we've been doing on the boat go to the, the wider spread boating community, so one of the things about the channel is we're open to anything and, you know, if you've got any footage or any, you're not into YouTube, but you like watching stuff and you want to share some of your own stuff, you know, send it over to me and I'll, We'll patch it in you didn't need to be in it or stuff but it's good to see different boat designs and what people are running uh, if you want to share it you know share it i'll be happy to work with you on that but any, anyway rabbit on thanks for watching another video stay safe and hopefully it will bring you a video out in the water soon thanks guys